today we're going to go on something a little bit more serious that's been in the news this week. Um, and that is about the manslaughter case that Alec Baldwin was on trial for. Yeah. The reason I'm bringing it up today is because yesterday it was dismissed. So the um, court decided to toss out this trial because there was missing critical bullet evidence. He has been dealing with this since 2021. And finally this week, it has been resolved on his side, at least, that he will no longer be facing those charges. So uh, obviously the young woman's family that was unfortunately shot on the film set of Rust Mm -hmm. is not exactly happy about this outcome. But... We're going to see where it goes because it was just dismissed. And at this moment in time, there is no any plans to take it any further. So they're not going to refile and retry him. I'm that we know of. That we know of. I'm sure the family is going to want to try to do something, but we haven't heard anything yet. So the question is, how we how do we feel about the being tossed out? Um, whatever, whatever your thoughts are on this. Trial. Oh, I think that respect to the families is a tragic accident. And I don't think he should have even been tried to begin with. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a movie set. Obviously, he's not trying to murder anybody. Mm-hmm. I know it was on an accident. And many times in accidents, sometimes people want people to pay a price for that. Mm-hmm. I just think in this situation, it was something that there was no price to pay. It was just an unfortunate accident. It's not, I don't think he tried to kill anybody. And he has to live th- with this for the rest of his life. He does. That he accidentally killed someone every day Yep. for the rest of his life. It's like how much torment... Uh, can somebody go through? Uh, what's going to happen with his, obviously his career is not as important as someone's life, but what is he going to do? Is, is is he still up to being the person that he has been? Or does he go into depression? Who knows what it, the case is going to be? But I think it's just a tragic situation with respect to the family. It was just, it was just hard, really. I don't know what else to say besides that, really. I agree with Junior. I think when the family that's involved obviously my heart's go out to them because nobody wants to have a family mm-hmm. member die that way mm-hmm. especially when they're working doing something that they love right. right right but he wasn't the one who put the uh, props into the gun he wasn't exactly. the one that, did that it was the armor and i believe she's already been held on trial and i think she's already she's found guilty serving time yeah okay um i don't think he should have ever been put on trial for it either it's just like when um, Brandon Lee got shot on set, right, yep. and he ended up dying, they never um, pressed charges on the person who got the props ready or the person who fired the shot because it was an accident. Like, Right, right. But I think, and this isn't me agreeing or disagreeing, I'm just saying on the victim's family side, um, I'm sure just along with any other victim, you're in pain, you're yeah. in pain and you want somebody Justice. to, to mm-hmm. pay for it. You want somebody you want somebody to be held accountable for it. Um, and, and because he is such a well-known face, he was the face of the movie as well. You know, he's the one that actually did it. I'm sure that they wanted him to pay for right. it, regardless of if it made sense mm-hmm. that he was the one that you sure. know did it on purpose or yeah. not. Yeah, I think the, the woman, the young lady that uh, is serving time, I think that to me is the part of the justice that was served because she was negligent and how she was able to operate, you know, the gun and somebody is going to jail for being mm-hmm. negligent of what happened. I think her giving it to him and he's just doing what he's supposed to do in the script is um, unfair for him to put him in that situation. Even though he pulled the trigger, I think his issue is saying he didn't pull the trigger. I don't know what that part is about. But it was an accident, and someone is serving time based off of the unfortunate right. situation. Well, and that makes sense why there would be missing critical bullet evidence if there was, you know, question as to whether he pull, actually pulled the trigger, if it went off itself. Like, it that has, yeah, something. that has a big deal as to why it was Yeah, especially if it wasn't handled correctly. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't handled correctly and they gave him a gun and he's holding it and he pulls off, he's like, I didn't even pull the trigger. Like, what's going on here? So, obviously, I feel terrible for you know the young lady's family um you know because that's a wound um a wound that they're never going to get no you don't heal heal. you don't heal of course not yeah right but at the same time i'm really happy that there was not two families destroyed over this because obviously her family is dealing with it and had he gotten to trial and found guilty alex family would have been destroyed as well so i mean there is a upside to it that you know he doesn't have to deal with it anymore he has like 
10 kids. Or I don't know. It's like seven or ten or something it's like that. Man. He has a lot of kids. Big Baldwin family. Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, they're not going to be missing their dad. And, you know, he's not going to be, like you said, in a state of panic or depression anymore, you know, moving forward. Hopefully. Well, I mean, he, he'll be able to move past it in a better way than had he if he would have been found guilty. What, is, he, is his career going to still be, uh, can he still pick up his career? You think people well, are going to give have, him a chance? They have a reality series coming, him and his family. So I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. They were filming yeah. yesterday when he got the dismiss. Yeah. So that's part of it's going to be part of the. Uh, it's yeah. going to be part of the reality, the reality series. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was reversed and that happened to your family member, what would you want to happen to Alec Baldwin? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, would you forgive when you're, when you're Alec? in pain? I think when you're in pain, you just want somebody to pay for what was done to your right. family, regardless right. if it Very was true. an accident right. or it was done um, intentionally or whatever. And I think that hopefully this will give them time to process their pain now that it's over with. Because I mm -hmm. feel like when it's out in the media and it's being brought up over and over and over, you do not have time to process what you're going through. You do not have time to just talk with your loved ones and heal because it's continuously it's a fresh in, wound your, every day. in your face every day. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully this will give them some peace for some time just so they can deal with their feelings and who knows maybe maybe they'll be able to forgive him in time maybe they'll realize you know what it really wasn't his fault right but they could also still not get over it and be like well he should well, have checked it a second time or whatever i do feel bad for them because yeah. i i do think his career is gonna continue to to he's gonna continue to have a successful he's not gonna career lose it, yeah. he's not gonna lose his career um i think he's gonna have many more projects in the future and, and i do feel bad for the family in that sense that He's going to still continue on and have success. Obviously, when their daughter yeah, is not able to. That's, that's going to be really hard. Yeah. Seeing the guy on television right. that, you know, killed your, your family members, that's going to be tough. Yeah. yeah. How, do you get, how do you get over that? You don't. I mean, yeah. at that point, you might, you might just have to force yourself, though, because you would you it's like living in pain every single day or being like, OK, I don't want to live this way anymore. Let's have a different mindset about it. How about, Not, how about this question? Go ahead. What if you were the person in Alec Baldwin's shoes that the gun went off and you killed someone? What would your state of mind be right now? Uh, if I was Alec? Yeah. Um, I would be distraught, panicked, stressed, depressed. All of the above, like I, I, I wouldn't, I would not be living a, a functioning life. Okay, and what right. about you? Anita? Same thing. I mean, because you, it's just like it's hanging there. You don't know what your life is going to be. It's going right. to be up to these people. So you're not being able to live a, a calm and peaceful life. You already have like the thought of firing that shot and that person dying constantly replaying mm -hmm. in your head, mm -hmm. like. What, what could I have done different? Right. That's already like your sentence for life. You know, yeah. always for replaying the rest it. Of your life. Yeah. You can't get past that. You're a changed person after that. Yeah. You're no, you're never going back to who you were before. And so then it also makes me think like, okay, Alec is also known for doing, you know, comedies and, and he does have a, um, a funny side to him yeah. where he'll like 30 rock, you know, he was, SNL. Yeah. SNL. SNL. So yeah. he has all that behind him. Will he be able to do comedy in the future? Like, does he have that still inside him? That I don't know. I, I, mm. I would see him doing maybe a little bit more serious um, films or, or projects from now on. I don't know. I, think I don't in know. Time is, he may. is Russ coming out? Is that movie going to actually re be released? It, it would be the number one movie. That would be I, I would say that'd be a little distasteful if it came out myself you think so well i i mean cr the crow still came out even after uh brandon lee it, it's it's, but a very, it's also a different society now you well know? and it's hard because it's like what about all the other crew members who put in a lot of work or to make her this who died on her last film would, would we not want to put out what she worked on right i would say the family would have a good should have an opinion in that i i would put it out if that was the last thing that she worked on i would put it out because that was that's going to be the defining part of her legacy, that last film. I mean... And the shelf it, I think, would be... But she had a young child, too, and they may feel like it's the best for that movie not to be out there right now that the child is young, because... Well, she's not in the movie. No, she's not, but imagine being a child and knowing that your parent died during the filming of that movie, and now it's, it's still out. out in the movie theaters, all your friends are out there mm -hmm. seeing it. When you're a kid, it's already hard to cope with emotions and understand certain things. 
I think it would be more supportive that people would support the movie more because she. This is the film that she died in, and accidentally. That's just me. But would the support be going towards her or towards Alex? So it kind of it just brings up a lot of like well, look monetarily it wise, it would depend on whatever was in the contract. Yeah, I guess. and look at it this way: if the Who movie benefits? comes out, it could benefit like you know her estate if something happens. They could put that money to the daughter to the family okay. if something were to happen. <laughs> I just think shelving it. I think. To me, if if I died doing something that I love, accident or not, I would not want it to be shelved. Like, put it out there. That was my last piece of work for, mm -hmm. for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. And it could open up a foundation, something like that. Excuse me, something to help in a tragic situation can turn into good. Yeah. I think it's for the family to decide, honestly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think yeah, that the family true. should have a really high opinion in it. And I think the studio should respect it. Respect it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Good take. We'll be right back. Use your 